before we get into the news though apparently millionaire twitch streamers are jerks to cashier and then claims that uh he is racist for no reason let's take a look at what the fuck happened here uh oh does miskiv have an earring on what is happening right now does he have an audi shirt on what is he doing we don't understand her either it's, it's okay. She wants four cheese slices. Oh, four yeah. slices of cheese. Yes, yes. That's a lot of cheese. You want some cheese? I want cheese. So she wants a cheeseburger. No, any vegetables? No vegetables. No vegetables. No vegetables. Okay. Four slices of cheese. Four slices of cheese. Okay, gotcha. Anything else? Oh, that you have to pull up? Small or large? Large. Large. Medium. <laughs> Definitely. The server. They kept looking at us the servers. They didn't like fine. us. Yeah, because you guys got fucking cameras, dude. What? I, <laughs> what do you mean? You're a Twitch streamer. I think us Twitch streamers, we you forget that, like, in the normal world, good. like, our behavior is completely unacceptable. Okay? Like, being a child I I as an adult is going to be, you know. La, la, la. A completely unacceptable. And we really didn't do anything. I honestly think it was just they didn't like her job. Yeah, I think they just. He was didn't... so upset about the fact that he was she didn't speak the native language very well. I think he was racist. Yeah, 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 I think I get my second I don't think he was racist. I think he just was like of the vaccines America confused, has done here. trolling. I think this is not a not a big situation at all that they are unironically turning into a large situation on public freakout. In two months on hormones, like I'm watching every day people trans pride. They got it. Turns out they got moved outside because of callers. Yeah, you can't you can't do that. It's always so terrible. Unfortunately, he's probably nervous. Um, Seven mild himbo cooties. She he's probably nervous. He's in front of the stream. camera. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't want to say anything. Okay. And then uh, on top of that, there's like, like Hot Chubby's like having a hard time ordering. Homie earns S for money and they got cameras playing games. He's just a man that hates the fucking wow, job and their behavior just as it was already place. heaping pile of shit. One yeah, one absolutely. No, that's here. that's what I'm saying. JK love this community hassle. Three months, thanks. I work at the, the Habit Burger Girls as a cashier, and I gotta say, this cashier wasn't in the wrong at all. You know how fucking annoyed it is? People just standing there giggling and fucking around, just order your damn food and go play somewhere else. Yeah, I I uh like, I don't know. When I, whenever, whenever we're out and about, I am, uh, I try to be as considerate as possible to the people that work in, in the place that I we go to, you know what I mean? Like retail, hassle. no matter what, because I already know that it's like annoying to, you know, we're like subjecting them to like additional grief and scrutiny. You know what I mean? Except the owner of those chairs. Fuck that hoe. Wait, what do you mean? No, I'm talking about when I'm streaming. Thanks for the months of quality YouTube content and live streams, Hassan. Hope you had a great time. No, nah, man, calling someone race publicly, they seriously fuck them over. The repercussions could potentially have him fired and publicly shamed. Yeah, except it's not happening. You want to know why? Because he wasn't fucking racist. So what He's are you talking about? In this vid. Like, we always act as though, like, you know, the mob is like just brainless uh, and everyone will be like oh yeah he is racist fuck this guy oh, it's like your stuff never heard no i disagree with like him. he's not 
and I, it seems like people are more upset at the streamers than they are at uh, the retail or, or the register dude who I don't know why the Happy fuck anyone would get mad at that guy. Hassle. They got review bombed? Guys, it's a Shake Shack. What do you mean they got review bombed? Yep. The calling in review bombing is so fucking, is so shitty. And I, I wish I knew how to fucking uh, stop people from doing that. Thanks for being my himbo. Love you, BB. Love you, chat. Pogo Arjan Hassel. Terrible service, you register my rent, dismissive. Now you just send some people outside filming. What a joke. Dude, oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my fucking god. People need to sh people it's a shake shack, dog. Like Ten what the fuck do you mean? Like man. you're review bombing you're a go. shake shack. Anyway, look. That is one thing that every Twitch streamer has to uh, do a better job with, which is like not using random normies for content and not annoying them for content. Some people like it. Some people enjoy it when they're like, you know, they're in on it or they have like a little bit of fun on the side. But most people don't, uh, you know, most random fucking normies that are working a shit like 725 an hour job just want to fucking punch in whatever the fuck you want and, and put in the order down the line and have you get the fuck out. But yeah, to all the miss kids or to all the people that like review bomb this restaurant, like, what are you doing, dude? You're, first of all, you're review bombing Shake Shack, so good luck. Like, who the fuck's like, hmm, Shake Shack? Let me go to Google reviews to, uh, to get a better under, it's like review bombing a McDonald's. You know what I mean? Like, so what the fuck are you doing to begin with? Let alone review bombing a restaurant because, you know, your favorite uh, millionaire Twitch streamer went there and, uh, and, and they had to be moved out because of other motherfuckers that were also calling in alongside the review bombing. Wasn't someone crying because you filmed the guy at the store in Texas? That's a perfect example. Think about what I think about how I talk to people you when I'm live bomb your in, in retail. Prepare for the reckoning, Pepe La. Tourists check Google reviews all the time, dude. For Shake Shack, bro. For fucking Shake Shack, it's basically review bombing. Uh, it is basically review bombing fucking, uh, McDonald's, dude. Shake Shack fries too. Yeah, that guy was absolutely participating. He knew, he knew he was on camera. He was talking on his own. Um. But does anyone have that 4chan link? You know what I'm talking about. Someone in the Hoscord absolutely knows what I'm talking about. Ten months where, on happy late birthday. where after my video came out, people on 4chan were very upset because I, I had a video where I was talking to the, uh, I was talking to an employee at Cavenders and we were having a conversation about like politics, you know what I mean? And he was very, uh, you know, forthright. But I have to show you guys. Does no one have the link? God damn it. There's no way I'll be able to find it myself. Yeah, review bombing is shitty regardless. It just makes it even funny because you're trying to review bomb Shake Shack. It's like downvoting a 24,000 upvoted Reddit post. Finish the video, it gets worse. Okay, I will in a second. No, no, no. I'm not looking for the video debating a Texas Republican. Uh, 
we already we already had that like this video came out right people loved it people are watching it and then there was someone on there was someone on fucking 4chan who was like we need to mass report this video he's here like he's here making a mockery of the ideas that this dude is like i guess willingly revealing about himself no there were screenshots in my twitter replies in the past it's really funny though it's not about the reviews though it's the employee could get in trouble that's a bigger problem than me yeah absolutely By the way, Alinity apologized. Yeah. If you're like me, you're embarrassed, hateful of your job. Somebody comes in filming you. I'm going to fucking hate you. Oh, this, 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 this. In this video, he pretends to be a friendly conservative person to a random Southern guy at the cash register at a store in Texas. He's live streaming the whole ordeal. Anyways, he pretends to be nice and ask questions of the guy to get him to say bad shit on camera in front of his audience of 10,000 plus people. First of all, it was fucking 50,000 or 60,000, not 10,000 plus. Anyways, the point is he did some poor dude very dirty, and I think this is illegal. He defamed a random guy in public by lying to him. The man he defamed has been harassed and threatened. Also, Asan can make a shitty video. First of all, the man was not defamed. You made up the fact that he was harassed and threatened. Expose him for using this really dirty and dick move tactic. Talk about how he probably ruined this guy's life and question the legality of doing this without the guy's full consent. Good stuff, Anon. You fucking got him, dude. So what's really funny is like, this is a self-report because a guy willingly revealing his like conservative worldview to you, like personally just revealing his conservative worldview to you is considered defamation. <laughs> so basically what he's saying is like, this guy openly is a fucking idiot. Uh, or his worldview is like dog shit. Hoggies. And, uh, you know, I can't believe he made him say conservative things. <laughs> By the way, works for a fucking Cavenders. Like, you think he's going to get Got fired him. for having a conservative point of view in Austin, Texas at a Cavenders, dude? Which, by the way, I wasn't even like... Uh, being uh, uh, operating as a conservative either. I was just having a normal conversation. Austin like barely pretended to be a conservative. And even then it doesn't fucking matter. Like <laughs> I was just being nice to a guy. And even then, I called out Austin for lying, too. Plus, didn't he know he was on camera? Yes, dude. Of course he knew he was on camera. <laughs> w. Yeah, they fucking promoted him to CEO after this conversation. They were like, yay, yay, partner. Uh, Texas will say Texas, I'll tell you why. Because when it goes too far crazy, there's more lead in this state. We'll spray so much fucking lead in this state. Everyone I know. I don't know, I'm just man. waiting for something crazy to happen to where, like, we have to take it back to where we have to, like, force people out. Like, like, I'm not saying anything. He's just fucking being like, Texas will stay Texas. We got lead in this state. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, we got. I can't believe I'm defaming him by letting him talk. Doing leftist mind tricks. Get him to fucking say. Would you ever talk to hogs on stream? Yes. Happy to be here another day. Yeah. Texas will retake the state. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. All right, let's finish this video. No, for real, like he was, she was trying so hard to speak to him, but he was getting, instead of being patient, he was getting annoyed. 
this oh, pen. He also works at I work at the Habit Burger Girls as a cashier. I gotta say, this cashier wasn't in the wrong at all. You know how fucking you know it is? People standing there giggling and fucking around. Just order your damn food and go play somewhere else. Wait, someone said that in my chat. <coughs> you guys stole that, dude. You fucking suck. You copy-pasted a comment from the fucking... I've created a new sub for like people like this. Look at this fucking streamer. Yeah, they were probably like too. They were probably too trolly. And he's already nervous. He's a camera's on him. I usually don't. I usually don't have the. I try not to have. I, I could fuck up, you know, whenever I'm doing live streams. But I usually uh, try not to have the camera on when we are uh when we're like on the person when we're in like uh like a retail environment you know what i mean yo to be fair the cashier does not get paid minimum wage to be used for someone else's content yeah absolutely absolutely um but yeah this isn't like like this is like regular annoying you know what i mean this is you didn't show the water burger people? Yeah, I didn't. And we were also really, really nice to them too, on top of everything else. Like, cause I don't want to fucking, I don't want to fuck someone else's life up. Poggers. Yeah, but that's because you're incredibly considerate and aware of what's going on. Other streamers may just be younger and not paying attention to how the situation can be blown out of proportion. I mean, dude, you can't you can't use unsuspecting people uh, as like content. I mean, everyone does it sometimes. Like everyone does it without realizing sometimes. But you can't be doing that. But ultimately, this wasn't like the worst thing that could have ever happened. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that the actual public freakout is like probably blowing it out of proportion like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>